So it is Saturday the 9th of October and I'm on my way up to farm two. We've got 100 hectares of winter wheat that we've got to drill. That's 250 acres in old money. Uh, yeah, I'm in the 6215R. We've got the eight meter weaving drill on the back. As you can see, well, I'm not sure if you can see. It's a foggy day. It's actually like 11 o'clock right now. I've been waiting most of the morning to see if the sun will come out because the ground's going to be a little bit tacky, but I'm sort of losing patience. I'm going to go up to go up to the farm, put some seed in, get it calibrated, and uh, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how tacky it is. Oh dear, it's a bit tight going through this village. They need to cut the hedges. Looks like we might have timed it about right. The sun's just trying to poke through the fog now. All right, first thing we've got to do is go and get some seed. And calibrate the drill. And he's going to get the 3350 and pull that trailer load of seed out. That's if it will lift it. Just stick a bit of air in the tyres, make sure they're hard enough. Get the old bus fired up. If you like the sound of this tractor, give this video a thumbs up. The tractor doesn't get used very often, but when it does, it's normally a pretty important job. Took a little minute to start there. Right, so we've got a trailer of seed. I think the variety of this is KWS Xdays. We can do this with one hand, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, that one, no. Nope. Yeah, we got it. First drilling I've done since I drilled that winter barley. As you all know, we've had a bit of a wet a wet spell. Where it rained for like what was it like? Ten days it rained for? Probably shouldn't put my head under there, but it's all clean. And now we've had three or four dry days. Point nine four kilos in the bucket. We're going to type that in the screen. Say hello to Eric. Eric's here. Uh, enter weight. What did I say? Eight. How do we do this? Eight. Uh, point nine 
four. Enter. It says we have an, had an error of 346%, which doesn't sound quite right. And the new kilos per revolutions is 0 0.303. I might do it again, because that doesn't sound right. And just remember why the calibration was so far out. It's because the last thing I drilled with this drill was grass seed. And uh, which went on, goes on a, a lot lower rate. So we're just redoing the calibration. So I just redid the the calibration and that time the error was only 3.2%. So it wasn't far out the first time. All right, this is the first field that we're gonna drill. Um, this was spring oat and I have sprayed it off. That's quite, all the greenery there is uh, spring oat volunteers. Um, and I have sprayed it off at Roundup about two days ago. Um, so it is in the process of dying. Uh, unfold the drill. I've got to get out and check the seed coming out all the spouts and roughly set the depth. Just drop the dr drill in the ground for the first time. I'm going to get out and check the depth. I would imagine it's far too shallow because the last thing I was drilling was grass seed and I obviously have that set pretty shallow for that. Put my muddy boots back on. Might need some gloves. Barely going in the ground. Oh, so I've just been halfway around the field. I'd say the front pink one's pulling in a little bit because the back is going in deeper than the front. Have a look. Let's see what the depth is. Yeah, it's probably going in a little bit deep now, so I'll just bring that top link in a bit. And I reckon that'll sort it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually putting in a headland mark. I'm using the boundary fill on the on the green star, and I'm going in on the tramline run. I think next time on the next field I'll go on the, the, the next one in from the tramline that that one there because I won't have so much room to turn on the headland. Around this field there's a big old green uh, grass margin. At least I can definitely see where I've been. No problems there. Um, and if you're wondering why I have put in the, the boundary mark, it's so that I know where to lift up and drop the drill down. So what I'm gonna do now, look. Just once the drill is over that, I will pick up the drill. And we'll turn around. This is what I mean, look. I've got a big old grass margin right around the outside of this field. But We've got a lot of weight on the back. I'm struggling to turn. I got three bags of seed in there. Yeah, on the next field where we haven't got some, such a big grass margin right around the outside, I will put in my headland mark at 24 meters.
As you can see, this drill doesn't really give the best finish on this sort of ground. Um, I think this drill is more designed for uh, like nice clean seed beds like that have been ploughed, not not seed beds that have got lots of stubble and volunteers and things like that. But it'll look a lot better once it's been rolled. I'm on a new field now, second field of the day, or second field of the afternoon so far. Um, I've done a bigger headland on this field, I've made a 24 metre headland. Um, so to do a 24 metre headland I have to go around with this drill three times. Uh, so basically I've been round the headland the third row in to make my headland mark. And then it just basically makes life easier. A lot easier so then I know when to pick up and drop down the drill pick it up now look um, swing it around I do use the independent brakes to turn it round I think next time Nick the next field I will do that but I won't actually put any seed in the ground oh because I'm probably gonna have to run over that anyway just to smoothen off the lumps. And if you're wondering what seed rate I'm putting this seed in the ground at, it's 190 kilos per hectare. Um, we're cruising along at 9K, 9.1K. Uh, I'm going steady because of the big fins that are in the ground here. Uh, but it's, it's still the same as doing, it would be doing, uh, what was it, 18K with the four meter Vadastad. So it's not too bad. Right, that's it for day one, or day one of wheat drilling anyway, isn't it? I've done 24.34 hectares this afternoon, so not too bad. It's only half past seven, so not bad at all. Certainly cover the ground with this drill. Right, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, I will make another one soon. Now that things are a bit more busy again, I will uh, make the videos a bit more frequent. Bye-bye.